Notre Dame is no stranger to playing St. Charles Catholic. The Comets haven't beaten Indy or have beaten Indy three straight years, all of their victories being in the postseason. Now, similar to their run in 2021, this Comets defense is elite. They've pitched three shutouts on the year and are surrendering just nine points a game. The Pios have scored more than 400 points all season. Comets are going to strike first with a dime from Brady. St. Pierre to his touchdown. Brandon Craigle as it's seven to nothing. St. Charles Catholic. Notre Dame is going to respond though. Jackson Casanova says me and Romeo ain't never been friends. He barrels his way into the end zone for the touchdown, tying us up at seven. Notre Dame not done though. Putting in the special and special teams, blocking a punt. Watch this. 35 go airborne and gets flipped and the block. It leads to a Notre Dame touchdown. But St. Charles Catholic responds back to the air. St. Pierre goes and back to Kregel. Back in the end zone. We're tied up at 14. Now, comments back on offense. St. Pierre, very underrated at QB. He rolls to his right and finds Daniel Joseph. What a connection to the receiver. Comments take the lead. But they were not done. Third quarter, Notre Dame to punt. Caden Foster fields, makes two men miss, changes direction, catches the block, and he's going to wheeze, weave, and back and forth and reaches the end zone, making it 28 to 14. And the Comets keep on rolling as they move on with a victory 31 to 21. Well, in case you missed it in our game of the week, Cecilia moves on to the semifinal round with a victory over Janet. Big win for the Bulldogs and the battle of the Bulldogs. Our Elijah Nixon caught up with head coach Dennis Gaines after the win. One, congratulations, Coach Skane. I know it was a two-to-two -two tie here um, for playoffs between you and Jennings. You come up and get this victory today. Just talk to me about what was the game plan for you guys this week. Uh, well, uh, just to try to contend and try to stop what they do on offense, which is they do a, an excellent job of slowing the game down and uh, trying to keep your offense off the field. Uh, they, they've been doing that for years, and I know it's a new head coach, but it's uh, still a very proud tradition over there, a team that's been in the quarters. Uh, and in the dome several times. So uh, we knew it wasn't going to be an easy game, but basically just trying to get them off the field, uh, which it wasn't easy to do. But uh, And you know, offense just being able to uh, try to contend with what they do defensively. Now, I know it just takes a team. Football's a team game. But Dizo Salari was one of those guys out there. I know he's been one of those guys for you all year. Just talk to me how special he is, especially tonight after that four-touchdown performance. Yeah, of course he's special, but I think they're all special, all 11. And then he'd be the first to tell you that. Uh, you know, it happens It happens with 11 people doing the same thing over and over. And, yeah, Diesel gets a lot of the praise because he is a special athlete. But uh, we got a lot of special guys on this football team. And uh, he's he's one of uh, 68 on the team and one of 11 on the offense. Now, second half, you guys came out swinging. You guys put up a lot of points on the board. I know last week was the same deal. Is it something about just coming out in the second half a little bit stronger for you guys? I think they take offense to, to being held and, and – uh, you know, it's a good football team. You know, we've played a lot of good football teams, and, and it's not always going to be easy. And, uh, you know, I think at halftime it's just kind of getting them to remember certain little things that maybe we're, we're overlooking. But really it's just them coming out with the attitude of, hey, we, we need to get back on track and do what we're supposed to do. All right, he has a big, big semifinal matchup. We're waiting to see who they'll play. But as of right now, back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Coach Gaines. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, sir.